Man, that was too bad, too. That was kind of jamming there for a minute. You gotta remember how to fix that. Welcome to my stream. Uh, tonight, the French fry connoisseur. Um, man, it's kind of lame without music. Hang on. How about some ambient music? Good enough. Where was I? Yes, I am Scootly Scoot Scoot. I am your host for the evening. This is the Scootly Scoot 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 Cast Scootacular. And I know that's a lot of scoot, but I know you can handle it. Uh, tonight, something you've all been waiting for. My opinion, my expertise on French fries. And we'll get started here. I just googled the first French fry website I could come up with. Uh, we're just going to go down the line and rate the fries, uh, see if I agree with them. I probably don't. It may come to a shock to many of you, but I can and have been uh, opinionated about things. So I know, I know, but uh, I'll give you my opinion. You can agree to disagree, uh, but if you do disagree, just please understand that you're wrong. Um, so without further ado, because if there's one thing I don't like, it's ado. Uh, also, came home from work, uh, worked on getting everything up and running for tonight. Uh, took an hour. However, we're good. Still in my work clothes. I knew we were going to do the French fry stream tonight or my fry tie. So, thank you all, all three of you that are here. If any of you are bots, shame on you. Uh, you shall be dealt with swiftly, soon enough. Um, if any of you are real, Rojas, how you doing, buddy? This is the roof. 
and we're going to raise it to the loss. There we go. Raise roof. Whoop, whoop. Scoot, whoop. All right, let's get started. Uh, we'll just go down the line. There are some headlines we're going to read as well. And then we're going to start playing uh, Arch Age this evening as well, depending on the time. Uh, it was going to be on Arch Age Unchained, but um, that one was not as free to play. Dub Ninja Party of Six. Thank you, Dub, and all six of your uh, party. When it's Dub Ninja, it's always a party. How you doing, buddy? Welcome. And you let Whimsor escape. I can understand, though. Whimsor's kind of a lame Pokemon. Uh, tonight, starting in the next few minutes, let's find out about French fries, shall we? Uh, it says here there are 20 types of fries for French fry lovers. Not only am I a French fry lover, I am a connoisseur. I am a French fry expert. Um, in fact, I make little, little, like, you know, when you're throwing darts like that, I make that little hand gesture uh, when I'm talking about fries, uh, apparently. I did not realize that until just about 47 seconds ago. So fries. What is so great about fries? Everything. So don't bother asking. That's the answer. Everything is good about fries. It's a uh, potato. Potatoes make everything better. Uh, and fries, having been part of a potato, make even better things more better because of fries. So let's take a look. Uh, restaurant clicks. Uh, I don't frequent the site. Let's find out if this is a good site or a ridiculous site. Uh, already I see some fries I don't agree with. What's that? Sweet potato fries? Yams? Nah, they don't, they don't count. Regular potatoes or nothing. So whoever thought that was a good idea, shame on you. Shame. Shame on your cow, shame on every big T. How you doing, buddy? Uh, types of fries. The crinkle cut. I crinkle cut fries. I believe these to be the uh, pinnacle of French fried them. Um, can be either seasoned or plain. The crinkles when you dip them, whatever sauce you use, which is I use barbecue sauce, but uh, ketchup's good. I'm not sure what this. Thousand Island dressing is maybe um, the crinkles in the fries actually hold the the sauce. Um, so if I did a tier list like you guys, I've seen you guys do. If I were to do this, crinkle cuts would be at the top. This is pinnacle fry. They, they start out strong. Good job, restaurant click. Uh, and again, salt, special seasonings. I don't know what these little dirty bits are. That might be. Skin, I don't know, but well done. Crinkle cuts, yes. Oh, two sauces, ketchup even. All right, well done. National French Fry Day. We need to find out when that is. National Fry Day, zero posts. That's how, yeah, boo on you. Uh, up next. Crinkle cut shape. Uh, next, curly fries, also good. Um, who is it? Arby's. Arby's has uh, some good crinkle uh, curly fries. Um, Walmart sells curly fries as well. The uh, great value. Uh, not as good as Arby's. Arby's is the founder, the um, innovator of the curly fry, and um, I like it when they're the tight curls and you just grab it, you just dunk it in whatever, uh, RB, RBQ sauce, whatever. Um, and when it's not even a curl, but it's just a arch, uh, a bit, you can still grab it and get a good, good sized potato. Okay. Yeah. This would be a uh, crinkle cut then curly fry. Okay. Yeah. I can dig it. 
Uh, next up, home fries. Home fries, good. Yeah. All right. So far, so far, restaurant clicks and I. Uh, we agree. I like it. I dig it. Uh, let's see. I have many a nights, many a times created home fries. I'm not sure what this abomination is next to it. Is that potato salad next to a French fry? You you want a fry tier list? I will have to make a fry tier list loud. I will do that another time, not tonight. Uh, right now, I'm just ranking restaurant clicks choices. Uh, maybe next stream, I'll have the tier list, and we'll actually tier out the quartered potatoes. My favorite. If you put two quarter potatoes together, you've got the fifty cent potatoes. Uh, shoestring potato. No. This is light. Why would you even put one of the thinnest cut fry? Why? Okay. Why would you want a thin fry? Okay, here's the potato, here's this like steak fries, oh yum, uh, curly fries, waffle fries, more fries, more deliciousness. What? Yuck. No, no, I disagree. Shoestring. Okay, look. Alright, look. Here's the thing. I do not like thin fries. There's no reason to have thin fries. Thin fries, they should be thick. They should be delicious. They should be crisp. Thin fries are an abomination. If if potatoes could defecate, what would that result be? Shoestring potatoes. It's it's just. Why would you? I mean, you you could take a handful, dip them in the sauce, eat them, and you'd still be like, I haven't eaten a fry. You take one crinkle cut fry though from earlier. Delicious. All from potato, but. Nah, that's just. Almost an abomination. I, oh, boo. Boo on you, restaurant clicks. Steak, fr steak fries? Alright, okay. Uh, now this is yummy. It even says it. This is yummy. Steak fries are below crinkle cut, but above curly fries. Probably. When I do the tier list, I'll make sure it's accurate. But uh, definitely above shoestring. Look at the surface. The potato to mouth ratio. They're wide. They're thick. Um, you don't get as many in the bag when you do that. Steak fries are under... Lohas, Lohas gets it. Steak fries underrated. Shaz, how you doing, buddy? If I have any bots, please do your thing. You got this. Actually, Loud, you're a... You are a uh, mod, too. Actually, Loud, you are, like, my second, third, third, third mod. Sweet potato fries. Uh, no. No. Um. I mean, look how sad that is. Even the sauce looks sad. This is just depressing. If they drank any type of caffeinated drink, this would be depresso. No, I'm not kidding. Uh, what, is, what is this over here? 
What are these? Evil. That's what this is. This whole this whole picture is evil. How can you love sweet potato? Okay, so you like sweet potato fries and you like shoestring potatoes. They can't even call them fries because it's just shoestring potatoes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, upscale or health food restaurants offer sweet potato. However, the difference between a standard white potato and a sweet potato isn't huge. The nutritional difference may not be huge, but the taste difference is huger than huge. My enjoyment for crinkle cut or steak for even curly fries is huge. My enjoyment for this... It looks like, you know, you're, you're cutting firewood and it little tips off the wood. I mean, that, that looks like... Like stuff you put at the bottom of your fire pit to start your fire. Tater tots. Tater tots are good. I don't know that I would consider them fries, though. Uh, puff potatoes. Um, put some cheese on top, maybe some chili. Tater tots are good. I don't know that I would consider them fries, so uh, we'll have to pass on this one. They are good, though. Tornado fries. Tornado fries? Popular snacks sold by street vendors in South Korea. Look at that. That is gorgeous. It looks like they fried it just enough. Didn't over fry, didn't go over crisp it. Uh, I wonder if that's edible too, the stick that runs through the middle. That is amazing. I have never seen that before. I, I don't know. I can't comment on this. I've never tasted it before. But I guarantee you it's better than sweet potato fries or shoestring potatoes. I mean, just look at it. It's like the whole potato, I think. Oh, I want one now. The skewered potato directly in the deep fryer until the entire thing is golden and crisp. I could tell. I know. It's brushed with seasoning. Many types of seasoning available to include onion, cheese, or honey. Honey on the potato. I'm not sure. Waffle fries. Good selection. Good mid-tier range. I'd probably rank those on uh, maybe just above uh, regular restaurant fries. You know how you get like the regular straight, it's like like uh, if you took a, a crinkle cut fry and you just kind of stretched it out to where it was just flat on all the sides. Uh, those are considered like regular restaurant fries. I'd probably put them above that, but below the crinkle cut because um, it's, there's good surface there. Plenty of potato with each fry that you eat. Um, I think Chick-fil-A probably mastered the waffle fry, though you can get waffle fries from Walmart. Um, Shadow, how you doing? Do you have um, crinkle cut fries at Walmart? I know you do. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> uh, so, crinkle cut fries... Good fry, solid fry. Not the best. We're still crinkle cut and curly fry, curly fry, steak fry, waffle fry. Yeah, no, we're not. We're not talking about the other ones you just missed. Uh, classic fry. Boardwalk fries called because you'll find vendors selling on boardwalks across the United States. Not across the United States. I really doubt there's a boardwalk in Iowa. I mean, there might be. How likely is it? Not very. But, 
these are like the regular type restaurant fries you'll find. So that, that's just below the waffle fries, but above the sweet potato fries. Chips. She's for French fries in it. Okay, yes. Um, in the UK, and the UK Titan, we see him. Uh, chips, like we know them, like uh, Lay's or Pringles, potato chips. They call them crisps over there, and french fries are called chips. Uh, I don't know why, because they like to be difficult. Uh, oh, nice fish and chips. Um, that's somewhere between a regular restaurant fry and a steak fry. It's not wide enough for a, a steak fry. It's still good, especially if the fish is white inside. Um, I'm not a fan of the mushy peas or the, I think that's tartar sauce there. Okay, check. Chat check. Um, best sauce for eating fries with? Ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, barbecue sauce. Uh, ranch dressing, blue cheese dressing, honey mustard, uh, spicy mustard. Worcestershire sauce. I don't know. You tell me. What's the best sauce to eat with fries? I mean, there's ketchup. That's the go-to, but you yeah, don't really eat ketchup. I mean, if I don't have any barbecue sauce, I'll go with ketchup, but no, I think I just stick with the stick with the BBQ sauce. Um, Polynesian sauce, uh, Arby sauce. Cottage fries? What do you mean? Rather than cutting the fries long, uh, they look similar to potato chips. Oh, okay. I have uh, almost like roasted potatoes. Um, Would I call them fries? Yeah, maybe. No, it's more like roasted potatoes. I would uh, not call these fries. They are cut thin, like fries, but uh, nah. But they are good, really good. Um, what is this? Oh, great, French fries. French, French fries. Pommesifles. I know that's not how you say it. Today we gonna learn. Pomme souffle. Pomme souffle. Pomme souffle. So pomme souffle. Uh, puffy potato chips. I mean, I guess. With fresh mustard. Oh. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to taste them. I've never had pomme souffle. Which I don't know. Maybe. Wedges. Wedges are good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you just cut, cut the potato into wedges. Deep fry them. Or bake them. There you go. You grind what? What did you grind last night with your mortar and pest, pestle? Pump souffle. Wedges are good. Wedges are mid top. Oh, the fresh mustard. Oh well then. Okay, it's chef's kiss. Pump souffle. But really.
Badenay. 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 Many restaurants, I'll be the judge. Okay, then yes, the Badenay is the um, is the crinkle cut fries ironed out nice and flat and straight. Um, I mean, that's standard, so I mean, I'll eat it. It's not my go-to. Uh, Julianne. 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 Uh, similar to Batman, Julianne is a knife cut used for it, including, right? Um, that looks kind of dumb, really. Uh, probably the similar to shoestring. Oh, that's why. Oh, even thinner. Even thinner. Every individual piece, uniform and identical. What kind of OCD madness is this? Thinner than thinner than shoestring. I went to high school with a Julianne. Julianne, nothing against you, but your fries suck. Thinner than shoe, thinner than shoestring. Here's the greatest thing ever. But we're French, and we're going to make it even better by making it there. Look, there it is. Oh, isn't it even so much better? Oh, no, 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 no. no. You crinkle cut me, you steak fry me, you curl me. That didn't come out right at all. You waffle fry me. You don't shoestring me or julienne me. That's just... That's sad. Matchstick fries are really shoestring me. They are shorter and... It's like they took the shoestring and just tried to slice it as small as they could. That's just that's a big bowl of evil right there. I mean, you could have you could have waffle fries. You could actually you can. I don't know how they make waffle fries. They could take those and like weave them together to make real fries with. But that's just. Who came up with this? What country is this origin in? Easier to grab a handful of fries at a temple. Even easier to grab a handful of fries at a time, which is a good idea. And they're no and they're known to. We're going to take the potato, we're going to take the fry, we're going to make it lousy, and we're going to see to it that it gets colder quicker than a normal fry. No. No. Holy schmoly, this is... That's... That's almost an abomination of existence. Oh, come on, oven baked fries. Okay, well, I turned it to deep fried. Okay, yes, um, oven baked. Tim Buzz, how you doing, buddy? We are exploring French fries. Um, oven baked here, a bit healthier than um, shoestring or matchstick fries or sweet potato fries. Yes, but. Uh, 
that you um your timbas in the chat so <clears throat> Tibo your Tibo first so so oven baked fries are good I will accept oven baked fries uh, healthier than deep fried uh, air fry will get you the same results as well I have an air fryer works great uh, patatas bravas yeah don't worry about it buddy We're, you're good uh, patatas Oh, geez, you'd have to do that. I mean, I got a lightsaber closer than I've got. Um, there we go. Thank you, buddy, for looking out for my uh, health, hydrate, and stretch. Patatas bravas. I'm. I just envision a warthog and a meerkat singing songs. Patatas bravas. What a wonderful dish, uh, famous tapas dish, appetizers, small snacks, eaten in Spanish cuisine. So they're... What did you do to my wonderful uh, potato bits? Those look pretty good. Uh, this... I don't even know what that is. That looks like sweet potatoes with uh, sour cream on top. And then, um, looks like they went and mowed the grass and sprinkled it with grass cuttings on top. Uh, the potatoes, got three quarters of cubes. Cubed potatoes are good. Deep fried and topped with a tomato based sauce. Okay, well, that's good. Chilies, paprika, and garlic. Okay, that would explain the color. Uh, side winding fries. Side winding fries? Okay, nice. Uh, side one, they look like potato chip at first glance. They do, but I like the ridges effect. And I like, I do like the, the curl. I like that. Okay, cool. I approve. I haven't had them, but I approve. And those are the types of fries. Tivo, check this out. Check this out. Where is it? Shh, shh, shh. Uh, no, no, that must be further down. Tch, tch. Steak fries are good. Uh, sweet potato fries. Loud likes the sweet potato fries. Tater tots aren't really fries. Tornado fry. Would you eat a tornado fry? Yes or no? Answer in the chat. I, I know, I never had one. I want one now. I feel like there's a, a, a kitchen device you can buy online or on TV, like as seen on TV for $19.99, and you just like will swirl your potato like that. You you've had a you've had a tornado fry? Have you eaten it though? Is it delicious is it as delicious as it looks? Okay, very important follow-up question. What sauce do you add or top your fries with? It can be ketchup, it can be barbecue sauce, it can be Worcestershire sire sauce. Oh, you don't like sauce. Okay, that's fair. I typically don't use ketchup, although ketchup is the main sauce for fries. 
Well, there you go. Uh, we're going to end on a high note with the tornado fry. Um, crinkle cuts are still number one until I have a tornado fry. I'll let you know at that point. Uh, that just looks, that looks so good. Um, steak fries, waffle fries, curly fries, regular fries are pretty good. Uh, tater tots aren't really fries. Um, sweet potato fries aren't really fries. Um, and anything with the name Julianne or Matchbox 20 fries, that's just, nah, shoestring. <laughs> there you go. I will attempt to have a tier list ready next time. And then we'll see, this is only 20 fries. We'll see if we can get more than 20 fries. We'll see if we can make a whole stream just about rating ranking fries and why if you disagree with me you're wrong uh so this at thus ends our fry portion let's go ahead and take a look at what's going around the world uh i just pulled up the first uh news from around the world site like this is the first fry site i found uh i'll do a little bit better in finding a good fry site next time. Uh, also a tier list, a mental note tier list. Uh, and then this is the first news around the world site I picked up. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started with that. Take a look and see what's going on. And I would, we're just going to read headlines and I'll give you my opinion. And we'll just go from there. All right. Florida Sheriff. Burglars call 911 to get help moving stuff. Florida man! Point Siena, Florida. Two people in Florida were arrested after one made a 911 call to get help moving their belongings from a home they were burglarizing. It really is always Florida. We're going to burglarize his house. There's too much stuff. We need help. Let's just get the police to come help. The fact that they are uh, making that news report tells me they're caught and arrested. And they deserve to be. Master's invitation goes to the wrong Scott Stallings. I'm not a golfer, but I am sure that's a big deal. Uh, invitation message resident will most likely uh, will be there as a guest of the player by the same name whom the coveted invitation was intended. Okay. Uh, no cash, no bank heist in Denmark. Criminals now go online. Tibo, is that right? No, uh, uh, the first time in years Denmark hasn't recorded a single bank robbery. There wouldn't be much point. Cash transactions in the North country have become virtually obsolete. Is that true, Tibo? No bank heist ever in Denmark? I don't, I don't know either. See, so. I was Googling neckties, anime neckties, and look, that's all I get now, or ads for anime neckties. Bloodied Sidibi briefly wears Rutger Coach's ceremonial uniform. Uni. Blood on her uniform during the Scarlet Knight's 78-69 loss to no. Scarlet Blood, Scarlet Knight's. She should have kept it been like, yeah. Uh, real snowbird in Southern California. Snowy owl, to be exact. Uh, Southern California wintertime, except when they're actually a bird. Snowy owl, to be exact. Uh, Chef Melissa King explores, oh, paid for by Mazda, beauty of nature in the Mazda CX-50. Check out the new series, Tasting Wild. You, you would think it should be. Let me see if I can change that. 
I will be playing a game a little bit later, but I am just chatting at the moment, aren't I? Oh, Arch Age is coming up. It's coming up after this. I can't do two, can I? Uh, just chatting. You got it, buddy. Right now we're just chatting, but it will be Arch Age in just a little bit. Birders flock to Kentucky to see rare pink-footed goose. From as far away as Wisconsin, travel to central Kentucky in hopes of seeing a rare pink-footed goose. What's the distance? So a nine hour drive. Shaz, would you drive nine hours to see a pink footed goose? That's just bizarre to me. I'm going to drive nine. I don't even drive nine. I don't drive any hours to see any birds that's just it's I mean how rare how really how rare is it uh, South Korea's unannounced rocket launch causes UFO scare I mean how how spooked are they I mean you got North Korea right there but UFO. You've got Kim Jong, whichever one. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, no, no. I will drive exactly zero hours. I will wait until it shows up on TV. I'll watch the replay. I'm not, I'm not driving to watch a bird. <sighs> no. What happened here? I went all the way back up to the top. So, uh, South Korea, UFO scare. We got Kim Jong, what's his name up there? We're going to be worried about a UFO. New, maybe the aliens come, maybe, maybe UFOs and aliens originate in North Korea because no one's ever there. The, uh, the aliens guy, he needs to go visit North Korea and find out. A uh, new smoking ban starts at, you know, as long as it flies and you don't know what it is, for some people, birds are UFOs. If it's unidentified, this new smoking ban starts at Miami Beach parks and beaches. What is that picture? Are these like, is this like the smoking area and they got these little people in here like caged in the smoking area? Starting New Year's Day, you can still wear bikinis on the beaches, but forget about showing any butts. Cigarette butts, that is. Lame. Smoking band is going to be after midnight. The stroke of midnight. Poor choice of words after mentioning butts, but okay. Uh, judge, people can sell candy, cakes, and cookies without license. People can, people can sell candy, cakes, and cookies. Uh, we dodged a bullet there, people. Madison, Wisconsin... You go and you when you go drive your nine hours to see your pink footed goose. <laughs> 
you can sell candy cakes and cookies without a license as well. I Don't get me started on politics and overregulation. We're not here for that tonight. Plus, I don't talk about politics. Uh, Northern California statue of meatpacking magnate beheaded. Rancher and meatpacking magnate decapitated. Leaving investigators of the states scratching their heads to find a motive. Maybe they're going to improve it. Like, this looks nothing like them. Um, in. Uh, it's Sacramento, California. So maybe they drove. Maybe someone from Wisconsin drove to Sacramento, chopped the head off. They're going to redo it, do it, make it look more realistic, maybe more bester, and put it back on. Or maybe they'll put it on backwards and be like, haha, prank. Uh, interestingly enough, they did not actually name the stat the name of the person, the meatpacking magnet. Um, Maybe in the article, but we're not reading that. Buck Scabbard Brothers Rescue People in Tampa Chopper Crash. Crash into the Hillsborough Bay in Tampa. Hillsboro. I hope to be visiting. There's a Hillsboro in North Carolina. I hope to be visiting uh, relatively soon. Uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin Committee wagers on elections over fish and beer. Uh, jokes are not old and outdated until they pass the nine hour mark. Wagers on elections over fish beer. The Select Committee on Election Predictions is going to be 50 years. $5 local state in Wisconsin public reading. Oh, they wager on the election while they're eating fish and drinking beer. Okay. 2023 public domain debuts include last Sherlock Holmes work. There you go, Hollywood. Have at it. You've ruined everything else. Might as well ruin Sherlock Holmes as well. Uh, Whale Watch Week returns in person in Oregon after pandemic. Trying to think of a joke on that one. We'll come back to that. Bats plunge into ground, plunge to ground in cold, saved by incubators fluids. How do you even see that thing plunge to the ground? Number one. And number two. They just happen to have a bat fluid laying around attic the humane Houston Humane Society director but it's going to be at recovery space okay well I mean the Humane Society director probably has that fluid let me yes yes I do I have not changed from my work outfit. I wore this knowing that I was going to be talking about french fries, which we did earlier. You'll have to go back and watch the first part of that. Um, alleged donut thief charged with brandishing hatchet. The hatchet toward the convenience circle to try to stop him from stealing donuts. Those must be some really good donuts. And notice they said donuts and not donut holes. So that, at least the guy is got his priorities straight. I mean, a hatchet for donuts. Is it like a baseball bat for donut holes? Or maybe like a, just like a baton? Like you steal your daughter's baton? A uh, little parade baton flippy thing 
But did he drive nine hours for the donut? Wisconsin waitress gets crinkle. Yes, crinkle fries are the best. Let me go back to that. Although, this is called a tornado fry, and now I want one. Thank God it's not a bagel thief. You are absolutely right, Tibbo. Uh, Wisconsin waitress. It's another Wisconsin. Wisconsin waitress gets a thousand dollar tip from Christmas customer. Kelly Blue, twenty nine. Kelly Blue. If I had that name, I'd get a thousand dollar tip from everybody if I was a waitress. North Dakota woman who brought raccoon to bar gets probation. Looks like someone brought a raccoon. To a knife fight. A woman who brought a wild raccoon into a bar earlier this year will spend a year on probation. All I can say about this is I now know the punishment. If I ever took a raccoon into a bar fight in North Dakota. Is it Bismarck specifically or is it any North Dakota? I don't know. But that person, I mean, do I break the glass and cut him with the glass? Do I bring a knife in? Do I go get the guy who got the donut and take his hatchet and bring that to the... No. No. We're about to get medieval and rabid. Rabid? <laughs> on all of y'all. All y'all. We bring in a trash panda to the bar. South Korea lifts ban on imported sex dolls. Has formally lifted a ban on the import of full body. I, I, so they allowed partial body? And the years, years of debate <laughs> over how much the government can interfere in private life. I believe I need to somehow, like, I, I hope there's a South Korean C-SPAN that I can go back and I just, and they translate it into English because I would love to see what exactly that looked like. Years, years of debate. Oh, there are no laws, regulation, planning, import, etc. Hundreds of perhaps thousands have been seized by customs, which cite a clause on it. Gives harm to countries, beautiful traditions, and public morale. No, moral. Public moral. Not even morale. Beautiful traditions? South Korea, full body sex dolls, beautiful traditions, public moral. I still want to see that debate. Look, I can't get a date. Over in America, they kind of messed up over there. However, for 5,000 US dollars or so. I don't know the exact price, but if I were to guess, I'd say maybe $5,000. They have these full size robotic figures to which I can do pretty much whatever I'd like. I'm going to I'm going to get it bring it over because I don't know what to say. K-pop and Sudoku are boring. And I want something else to do with my time. It's too far to drive to Kentucky to see pink footed geese. It's too expensive. For that same amount of money, I can get my robot. And then the other side is like, oh, no, 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 no. You do that, Skynet takes over. 
Next thing you know, Terminators. It starts out with it starts out with Miss here. It starts out with the Miss here. She's sitting down. She's giving testimony. She'll tell you. Blade Runners and Terminators. That that's how you. That's how. That's how that sci-fi mess gets started. Equal rights of robots. True story. When the AI becomes smart enough, you know. U.S. officials: COVID and bomb cyclone won't slow Santa's truck. Okay, December twenty-fourth. Bomb cyclone. Oh, the U.S. military. Well, it's good to know our military is on top of things. Caesars touts F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix. Tippo, have a great uh, uh, great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Take care, Tippo. Uh, everyone, Tippo, I don't know if Tippo is streaming yet. But if he is or is not, or might be one day, please give him a shout out. Please follow him. Please, whatever. You can't give him a shout out because I don't have a shout out yet. But uh, it was a good kid. Everybody's a kid to me. I am the unofficial uh, oldest person in Twitch. It's not true, but I have self declared it, so it must be true. Uh, Caesar touts F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix VIP package worth five million. Guest package for the next year's not really a Grand Prix. Uh, we've already read that one. Glass Act scientists reveal secret of frogs transparency. Um, we don't need scientists to. Reveal the secrets of frog transparency. Uh, I'm going to give you the uh, give you the secret right now. They are transparent because um, they treat everyone the same, and they have nothing to hide. They are an open book, a frog book, complete transparency. They have nothing to hide. Cousin Eddie display in Kentucky. Kentucky man leads to police response because he's playing Kentucky. It's a little too real. And police were called to check it. Okay, a little too real, really. Uh, not just for kids. Toy makers aim more products at grown-ups. Oh yeah, we read that earlier about South Korea. We know we we know all about the toys toy makers are making. Eagles Belt Holiday hits on Philly special album Christmas album. The Philadelphia Eagles. Um, don't know who this is. I will. Uh, I will cheer for and root for the Eagles uh, for the NFC. Uh, Arizona driver cited for carpooling with inflatable Grinch. An inflatable Dr. Seuss character as a passenger. Oh, high occupancy vehicle lane. Okay, that makes sense. And there's another Grinch. Deputy dressed as Grinch gives onions to speeding drivers. But not inflatable. Uh, Florida Keys. Or, uh, an odorous onion as a reminder to slow down. Received an odorous onion as a reminder to slow down. Thank you. Yes, I don't remember his name. Um, no, 
no, no, no, no. Hamlin, Damar Hamlin. Um, sacked or tackled the quarterback. Stood up, fell back over. Turned out it was cardiac arrest. He is yes, thank you, Demar Hamlin. Um, he is in, still in critical condition or remains in critical condition. Um, they did the right thing by. Um, postponing the game, and I thought it was a really class act of uh, Cincinnati to light the stadium in the, the wheels colors. I, uh, thank you for doing that. Um, not a not a um, Cincinnati fan at all, but you did good, guys. Mars Rover captures first sound of Dust Devil on Red Planet. I didn't even know they had vacuums up there, but okay. What does uh, Stuff Devil sound like on Mars? Seeing as how it's really far away, it's probably... <laughs> and then you have to... A lot of dust on Mars, you have to empty out the bag constantly. Uh, Alabama woman convicted of feeding and trapping stray cats. Alabama women convicted for feeding, trapping stray cats. Feeding? Misdemeanor crimes to feed and trap stray cats. So, if I go to Alabama, I can get a. It's like. Like when you go to the zoo and you see don't tap on the glass or don't feed these animals. Uh, in Alabama, you... Maybe it's just... The, why is it tra feeding and trapping that gets you arrested? 85? 85? I don't know. Free the Wetumpka, Alabama women. Let them feed the cats. Uh, Roswell to host another festival for UFO files next spring. They're coming from as far away as South Korea. All right. Dogs gifted by North Korea's Kim settled in South Korean Zoo. North Korea, here are two dogs I'd like you to have as some sort of attempt at goodwill. And South Korea gets the dogs, and they're just like... It's probably got a bomb in it or something, I don't know. Uh, we don't like North Korea, let's just stick the dogs in a zoo. Four years ago, and they had their dispute over who should finance the caring of the animals. It's two dogs! How? We got two dogs. Not from North Korea. I don't get it. It's all downhill for 300 skiing Santas, a Grinch, and a tree. I hope that tree is at the end and they all hit it. Pricey pants from 1857 go for 114,000. Raise Levi's questions. My first question would be, who's dumb enough to pay $114,000 for pants? Pull from my sunken trunk. I don't care. I'll take coast to North Carolina. Still don't care. Uh, work pants, but officials describe as the oldest known pair of jeans in the world have sold. Uh, You watch every every jean made this year is gonna look like that. It's gonna bring that value down to next of nothing. Uh, Santa visit brings joy to frosty Alaska and Nupiat village. Alaska Santa. Oops, village employees got paid twice. Official quits. 
Michigan community resigned an investigation of 32,000 be mistaken payroll payments to public workers. I would surely love a $32,000 payroll mistake. You know, you're right. It's probably someone like Bill Gates or Elon Musk. Hey. Want to see my jeans? Discover the best hidden gems in... Okay, nope. California girl licensed to own unicorn if she finds one. Los Angeles, California. A girl named Vivid Imagination. Remarkable awareness of how bureaucracy can dash dreams. Got her wish when she asked Los Angeles Animal Control Authorities for a license to own a unicorn if she's able to find one. Oh, there's a joke there, but I don't know if I want to say it. German police seek help in solving bull sperm hunt. Heist? Very cold case. Cold case? <gasps> Lame. I've already seen about 660. 60 containers of were stolen from the... Load of BS. Um, full sperm. Um, what do you do with it? What was the movie? What was the What was the movie? Corky Romano. Uh, he wants to. He wants his father, who's uh, like the Godfather, to be proud of him. So he goes and robs a bank with his henchman. Was it Lou Ferrigno? Don't remember. But they uh, rob a bank. Just stick it all in the bag. They get home. They pull it out, and they had robbed a sperm bank. I think. I don't know. German police. First off, German police are pretty bad news, so I wouldn't want to. Tag Make lists of most mangled words. Uh, I think there should be a big duh right there. Duh. Miami's quarterback, don't care. 27 flea plane in, in Spain after pregnant woman simulates labor. The pain on the plane is mainly the pain in Spain is mainly on the plane. Fourteen people who ran from a plane in Barcelona airport after made an emergency landing allegedly simulated simulated that she was about to give birth. She's pregnant, but she's like. Look, I'm pretending I'm in... So she, she had the plane pull over so she could pretend that she was pregnant, that she'd given birth. That's messed up. Driver gets $553 ticket for driving with snow on the windshield. More than five miles with their vehicle and windshield almost... Com okay, almost completely covered. How does the plane pull... At the pilot... Eh, we're fine... I'm not the pilot. I can't speak up to that. Uh, farmer, Georgia, dog injured and saving sheep from coyotes. This, this is why I'm a dog person instead of a cat person. After killing a killing a pack of coyotes that attacked his owner's flock of sheep. Well done, good boy and or girl. Uh, SEC halftime contest booed. Both students awarded 100000 How was that boo? I, I, I'll get booed for $100,000. I need to go to Atlanta. No, I'm not. Not a big fan of Atlanta. 
Camel Pageant is among World Cup's sideline attractions. And for the talent contest, she sings about her lumps, her lumps, her lovely camel humps. Uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum to Close in Atlantic City. I don't believe it. Rat Attack New York City seeks hands on leader in anti rodent fight. False advertising. Uh, New York City rats do not look like that. That is a mouse. That is nothing. Uh, I've seen I've seen rats in New York City larger than like chihuahuas. Michigan City pays driver one thousand dollars to settle tire marking case. Pays driver with it settled. Maybe someone's out there just vandalizing, like uh, spray painting his tires. That's it. Parking tires to catch parking violators. Michigan weirdos, bunch of weirdos. Mind behind Rubik's Cube celebrates a lasting legacy. Erno Rubik, Erno Rubik. I did not know that. I knew his name was actually Rubik, but I didn't know his first name was Erno. Together, he and his roommate Bert. Chain Sesame Street forever. Come on, AP News. Work with me here. Uh, where are we at? Let's go in about Raccoon gets probation. I gotta scroll down. Making me work for it, Rubik. How far are we? We're pretty close to the end. Police, golfer, bit man's nose in argument over game. Base, Missouri. An argument between two men over a golf game with one to bite the nose of the other in the parking lot of a casino. Initially fled the scene in a Tesla. How very specific! Before turning himself in. It doesn't even specify if it's uh, like regular golf or like mini miniature golf. Like ah, I just. I just hit the, the plank on the windmill again and it, the ball just bounced right back to where I'm starting from. I'm, I'm already at nine strokes. And uh, the other guy is just like, uh, I got a hole in one in the, in the windmill. And then the sore loser's like, con, and bit him in the nose. I mean, what else are you going to do when you're mad at I mean, every person who gets angry with their playing golf just bites noses. Um, well, I don't believe we're going to get time to play Arch Age tonight. Shaz, it was a good, uh, good call doing just chatting tonight. Um, we'll do Arch Age tomorrow. Now that I've got everything up and running, looking good, working proper. Um. I appreciate all of you that have stayed this long. Uh, give me a minute. Let's see if there's somebody we can raid. Do, 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 do. None of you. Alright, let me refresh my page. We'll try again. No. 
no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Ink Vendetta. Persona Royal. Persona 5 Royal. P37. Calling out a hacker. I approve. We're about to raid uh, Ink Vendetta. Good kid, uh, good game player. His uh, streams are spot on. Um, as for me and my stream, and uh, you all here, um, I appreciate each and every one of you, some more than others, some, some very much more than others. Um, We'll try again tomorrow for the game, Arch Age. Um, get the alphabet stream going, but uh, I think we did pretty good here with our first stream of the 2023. Um, I would love to just stay online and stream 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, 366 next year, because it's a leap year. However, I cannot. What's that? Let me, let me go up here. What did I miss? Hey, Inky. What did I miss? I must I don't know. Is Loud on? I didn't see that he was on. Oh, and it just, it booted me off. <laughs> raid. Oh, now I gotta do it again. <laughs> just raided the channel with five. Oh, I raided the channel already. Nice. Oh, thank you for watching. I uh, got a scoot.